All right, so I want to make this video. This is an old style furnace, which is actually still being used in this house. And they call these gravity furnaces, also called octopus furnaces. Sometimes you'll hear them called spider furnaces. And the octopus and spider, they get that from this, these takeoffs coming off this plenum. Uh, can look like spider legs coming off, you know. So these are really old furnaces. And they call them gravity furnaces because gravity is what allows these actually to function. And I'll run you through the process of how these work. So the, so the cool air, this is the cool air return from upstairs. It's going to travel down this huge 18 or 20 inch, maybe 24 inch return line into the bottom of the furnace. Colder air falls. Gravity is going to actually pull colder air down. Heat rises. So the cool air from upstairs, the cooler air I should say, comes into this furnace. It's going to get heated inside this burner chamber. The flue gases will actually rise and go through the, come out through here and go through the flue pipe into the chimney right there and up and out through the top of the house, out the chimney, outside. And so the hot air is going to go through these takeoffs that you see here and it's going to go to the different rooms in the house just by, just by the process of heat rises, cooler air falls. Cooler air being heavier than hot air. This is a damper. You can close these down or open them. However, here's one. Well, each each line has one. You can open them and close them to change how much heat's going to these rooms. Uh, the good thing about these furnaces, one of the benefits is that it does not rely on a forced air fan to operate. So in the event of a storm, this is still going to provide heat to the house. There's no, there is no really no moving parts, as as there is in modern furnaces. They're very simple in design. And here you have the natural gas. The natural gas comes down through the line. It's going to go through the gas shutoff valve. Come in through the pressure regulator valve. And that could be the that could be tied into the pressure switch. And this could this is your gas valve. Here's your main burner. Um uh, Let's see, pilot light, thermocoupler. These, this, this furnace kicks out a lot of heat. You can see where it's been, you know, in years past. This is probably dates back to the 1940s, 1950s, um, somewhere around the 1950s, I'd say. Uh, maybe it was burning improperly. Uh, rollout, flame rollout right here. It's hard to tell. But this uh, this furnace provides plenty of heat for this house. Let me turn this light off. If you can see that data tag, um, can't read it too well. It's made by Homart. I believe those were manufactured between the 40s, from 1940s to the 1960s. Um, and I, th I believe Sears Roebuck sold these. So you can see how important it is that these these lines are need to be sloped, gently sloped as they're going um, to allow the hot air to continue to rise. These are really cool furnaces. To see one like this that's still uh, operating and still providing heat to this house is really quite uh, rare. The, 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 the downfall is these took up a lot of room. These furnaces just took up a lot of space. Efficiency wise, probably a 50%, probably 50 to 60% efficiency. That means about 60% will go into your house for heat and the remaining heat will just go right out the flue up through the chimney. Very, very, very seldom you see these. This is a two-story house, uh, about a thousand square foot uh, in terms of the footprint. And this furnace does no problems, has no problems heating this house. This could or could not be asbestos wrapped or insulation wrapped around these uh, supply lines going to the going to the rooms. There's a bit of a gap there. Probably needs to be taped off. Uh, this really isn't this asbestos. If it is asbestos, it's really not a threat. 
if it's not not disturbed. This homeowner is very satisfied with this furnace. She's she has no intention of replacing this. She's happy with the heat. Um, she told me that the highest gas bill is like 160 a month in the winter, the highest one. So that's not too bad. So anyway, if you know anything about these old furnaces, please, please let me know. Thank you.